Israel is reeling, a nation in deep shock and grief. Where have you been? He screams at the soldiers. It's the question all Israelis want answered after their enemy caught their military completely unawares. My brother, my brother, he cries, killed today by Hamas. He died in this. Mid-morning on an Israeli highway, Hamas fighters engaged in a firefight with Israeli soldiers. Civilians cowering inside their cars. The morning after Israel's worst ever day of civilian casualties and the killing goes on. 15 Israelis reported dead in this shootout. Israel says it's killed all the Hamas militants here, but how many more are on the loose? What's happened here bears out the threat by Hamas commanders to take their fight beyond Gaza, inside Israel. Not just the communities around Gaza, but further afield. They say as far as Jerusalem and into the occupied West Bank. Down the road, more signs of Hamas's rampage. Ashkelon is a city on edge. Like communities across southern Israel, where soldiers are trying to hunt down the enemy. And there is the constant threat from the air. Itzik and Kani showed us what's left of their backyard, destroyed by a Hamas rocket. They told us Gaza must now be erased from the map. Gaza should be deleted. All the land, take down all the buildings. That's what you should do to all of Gaza. The ones who want terror, the ones who want to kill, take them out. We don't want them here. We want peace. They're fleeing their homes, seeking safety in the north of the country. Israel's military says it will make their lives safe again. Preparing to go into Gaza on the ground. But Hamas has caught Israel unawares and raised its game. Neutralising that threat will be long and hard. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News in Ashkelon.